A high performer is a person who identifies and understands their behaviors, skills, and personal traits, and then uses them to achieve their personal, professional, and organizational goals. A high performer does things their own way. They come up with solutions, improve their lives and that of people around them, and also the organization they work for. But enough about what a high performer is. Are you on your way to becoming one? Well, in today's video, we'll take a look at the things high performers do to stay ahead and how you can emulate these as well. Sound fun? All right, let's get right to it, shall we? Welcome to Alux. Number one, they have clear cut goals. High performers know what they want and they're ready to go for it. The first step to becoming successful is to identify what your goals are, both long-term and short-term, and how you can turn these goals into actionable plans. But it isn't just about having goals. It's equally important that your goals are clearly defined. High performers don't just say, I want to be rich in five years. They understand that this is a vague goal, one that could mean a lot of different things under different circumstances. So rather, they say, I want to create multiple streams of income in five years, get a new home and be financially independent. You see the difference? The first one sounds more like a wish, while the other one signifies what a properly defined goal should look like. By having clear-cut goals, high performers can create a defined plan dedicated to achieving these goals. Number two, they are positive. Positivity is a common trait of high performers. They know that crying over spilled milk is pointless, so they choose to look on the brighter side of things. In their relationships with other team members, they also radiate positivity there, whether it's in an interaction with a superior or a junior team member. High performers understand the importance of attitude in the workplace. A negative attitude will make the environment tense, which could hinder creativity and collaboration. Positive attitudes, on the other hand, enhances creativity and allows high performers to put all their focus on the task at hand. Importantly, when high performers are assigned a challenging task, they don't complain. Instead, they look at it from a positive angle, which in turn makes a challenging task look easier. Number three, they accept constructive criticism. Constructive criticism isn't to undermine your abilities, nor is it an opportunity for people to throw the middle finger at your efforts. Constructive criticism is actually an attempt to help you become better at what you're doing. To become a top performer, you have to be willing to accept constructive criticism. Know that it isn't meant to take away the good things you might have done, but instead to help you become better at it. It's important not to take these things personally, as it is not an attack on your personal life. Instead, ask questions on how you could make something better. Also, use this as a learning opportunity and be sure to thank whoever criticized your work, as this constructive criticism will do you more good in the future. Number four, they are consistent. Rome wasn't built in a day. It was a result of consistent effort. While this might sound like a cliche line, it's a simple philosophy that most high performers live by. Consistency is the key to achieving your goals, any goals, and it means you're dedicating yourself to these goals no matter how difficult things may get. Consistency in the workplace also means that top performers complete their tasks on time and are also reliable. Their colleagues at the office can count on them to complete their quota of every task, which will in turn make them stand out. If you want to become a top performer, you have to put in the work. There's no other way around it. And if you aren't willing to put in the work, then you might just have to settle for less. Number five, they're willing to make sacrifices. High performers are always the ones willing to stay late just to make sure the job gets done. They're the ones that go the extra mile to complete a task. Sometimes they even put the needs of other people or an organization before their own, all in a bid to achieve a desired result. 
However, making these sacrifices can have a big effect on the mental and physical health of these individuals. I mean, some of these individuals might push themselves to work on weekends and holidays, leaving them with barely enough time for themselves and their families. And this makes it crucial to draw a line between your personal and professional life. While it's important to make sacrifices to become a top performer, it is equally as important that it doesn't affect your personal life in an adverse way. Number 6. They know when to say no. Top performers are known to make sacrifices, but this doesn't suggest that they'll say yes to every assignment. High performers love to take on new tasks, as this will present a learning opportunity and a chance for growth, but they also know that there are limits to this. If they say yes to every request, every assignment, it's only a matter of time before everyone dumps their tasks onto them. Hence, it is critical to know when to say no. In fact, this is an ultra-important professional skill for every individual. Saying yes to all requests will naturally increase the work that you have to do, and this could cause you to lose track of what's really important. So, moral of the story here, set firm boundaries and say no with a smile on your face. Number 7. They pay attention to their health. It's very easy to forget about your health when you talk about self-development and the professional space. This is because employers and colleagues are usually interested in your output and not the body that produces the output. Top performers know this, and they give the right attention to their bodies and health. Even though people aren't talking about this nearly enough, your physical and mental health determines your output. A person suffering on a hospital bed isn't at their most productive, and they probably won't be able to complete important tasks. So, how do you initiate some healthy habits? For starters, make sure you never substitute your rest and sleep hours for something else. Nighttime is for sleeping. Working until 3 a.m. doesn't make you the most hardworking person out there. It's actually just damaging your health in the long run. Exercising regularly is also a common trait of a high performer. Take billionaires, for example. A number of them follow strict fitness routines, including Richard Branson, Jack Dorsey, and Mark Zuckerberg. Number 8. They focus on quality. It can be tempting to want to complete as many tasks as possible in record time. Who wouldn't want to boast about how many tasks they completed on their to-do list? However, high performers don't necessarily buy this sentiment. They're more interested in the quality of the tasks completed rather than how many tasks they can complete. Focusing on quality will eventually make it easier to complete tasks in record time as you would have done these tasks over and over again while still maintaining utmost quality. Number 9. They know when to ask for compensation. Being a top performer means you know when to ask for what you deserve. If you're contributing heavily to the success of an organization, then you have every right to ask for a salary increase. Since high performers are also confident individuals, asking for compensation isn't too much of a problem for them. Most times, if these top results aren't balanced out with the right rewards, those top performers don't mind walking away to work with someone else. Number 10. They leave their comfort zones. Do you expect things to change if you keep doing the same thing over and over again just because that's how you know how to do them? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Aluxer, but things won't be any different if you fail to leave that comfortable spot you're in. A high performer knows that staying in their comfort zone limits their ability to think outside of the box. So, rather than sit down and wallow in an endless cycle of failures, they decide to do things differently, seek new knowledge, and break some more boundaries. Number 11. They have open minds. No one is an island of knowledge is a phrase that no one believes stronger than high performers do. These folks know that there's always something to learn, something that would present them with a huge load of opportunities. 
Having an open mind means they're always willing to change their stance on a subject when they discover something new. The world is an ever-changing place, and what you knew as the truth five years ago could be very different today. To become a top performer, you must always ask the right questions and listen closely to the answers. Number 12. They Read Is there anything you want to learn that hasn't been written down in a book somewhere? We don't think so. Books contain almost every piece of information humans have gathered over the years on practically every subject. By just dedicating a few hours of your day to reading, you've not only invested in learning something new, you've also taken an active step toward finding a life-changing idea. This is because reading forces us to be imaginative, and a sharp imagination does a lot of good to your creativity. Why else do you think high performers read a lot of books? Number 13. They develop their emotional intelligence. We can all agree there's more of a need for technical skills in today's world, but does that mean that these are the only important skills to learn? Definitely not. Learning soft skills in tandem with improving your emotional intelligence is just as important as having technical skills. No matter what you do, there will always be a need to interact with other people, no matter how minor. And high performers understand this emotional intelligence could be the difference between just being a random person and being a great person. How you treat people and react in situations is just as important as the other skills you bring to the table. If you've wondered why high performers are cool with everyone, it's because they've developed their emotional intelligence and improved their people skills. Sounds cool, right? Well, you can also be just like that. Number 14. They network with other people. The importance of meeting new people cannot be overemphasized. Networking opens you up to new experiences, skills, and opportunities, and it all begins with knowing the right people. High performers show genuine interest in other people. They ask important questions and also listen intently. This is the way to build genuine relationships, be it personal or professional, and mastering it could mean much more for your career. Number 15. They learn new skills. What would qualify a person to be a high performer if they had the same skills as everyone else? What makes high performers different is how skilled they are and how willing they are to learn new skills. Learning new skills also shows that you're willing to go far beyond and improve the quality of your work, which in turn will benefit an organization. Learning new skills also gives top performers some leverage to ask for better and improved pay. And finally, as you would have seen, high performers have no magic genie that makes them different. It's nothing but a series of conscious efforts to make themselves different. And who says you can't become a top performer too? With a positive mindset and a willingness to put in the work, you're on your way to becoming a top performer in your field. So, are you ready to get to work, Aluxer? Because we're here to cheer you on every step of the way. Thanks for spending some time with us today. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and don't forget to subscribe.